welcome to Woodford's the best town around. My name is John McCormick. I'm the mayor of this great town, and we're here today for our annual visit by Paul Sansone of Sansone's Route 1 Auto Mall, where he uh, contributes toward the annual Have a Heart Food Drive, which we kicked off last week. We're asking businesses all over town to donate 214 pounds of food, or $214, all connected to February 14th, which is Valentine's Day, hence the Have a Heart Drive uh, theme. Uh, with me is Peter Barcelona, the head of our food drive effort in town. To my left is the great and powerful Paul Sansone, and to his left is my chief of staff, Carolyn Ehrlich. So we're here today to accept a check from Paul, um, and it's a significant check. Um, it's certainly a whole lot more than $214. Uh, I'll wait a second before I do that, I announce that. But um, we talk about all the time how people think of food drives in November, December. It's Thanksgiving, it's Hanukkah, it's Christmas, it's New Year's, and the effort is always on people's minds. And then the winter comes, January and February, the very, very hardest months of the year to uh, get food donated to the pantries and soup kitchens, and that's why this is so vitally important. Let me start with Peter. Uh, tell us, you know, about that and how, how uh, tell us what you use the money for, because a lot of people get confused why they're donating money, and tell us about the whole effort in the winter. Right. Um, we Feed, obviously, is a uh, network of 11 food pantries in Woodbridge with one soup kitchen. Uh, we feed roughly about 600 families per month. Um, our pantries generally receive non-perishable foods. Uh, any monies that we receive, the money is split equally amongst our 11 food pantries. And those pantries uh, belong to the Community Food Bank in Hillside, which gives them the opportunity to purchase food from the State Food Purchase Program at a very reduced rate, some 15 to 17 cents a pound. Um, and then otherwise they also supplement it with, say, um, dietary needs of someone that might have a certain dietary need, so we would buy a ShopRite gift card or a Wegmans gift card, um, so they can buy those specific items for their dietary needs at that point. I mean, our pantries here um, took a hit during the, during the, during the holiday season, um, so the Have a Heart uh, was designed since, <clears throat> since 1995 um, as a supplement to replenish our food pantries here, so the need is great. Um, Anything you can donate, you don't have to be $214. It could be anything that um, you're called to give. Um, any, any amount of food, we certainly welcome it. There's drop-off locations at the municipal building, uh, the, community, uh, the community center on Main Street in Woodbridge, the public health center uh, in Woodbridge, um, Evergreen Center in Colonia, or you can call me at the health center and I'd be make arrangements to uh, pick it up. Um, the, the need is great. Um, as I, we just put a word out from our county network that um, any federal employees that are fur currently furloughed um, can actually utilize any of our 11 food pantries to show your government IDs, no questions asked, and uh, we'll, we'll supply those needs as long, hopefully not that much longer, but we'll supply those needs uh, to augment your food for your family at that point. So the, the need is great. I mean, uh, I can't thank Mr. Sansone for his most generous donation. Also the mayor and the council and the administration for embracing WeFeed We've been in, in existence since 1992, um, and they, they recognize that there is a need of people that um, need food in Woodbridge, and there's a need for people that have other uh, situations, and they recognize that. And without their support, um, we feed would not be able to do the work that we do um, to care for the community. And as I said before, I mean, it takes a community to care for a community. So any help, regardless of the size, uh, we greatly appreciate it. Thank you. All right, thank you, Peter. Before I go into Paul, let me ask Carol. Um, you joined the council in 1996 and helped the council to come to the administration in 2007. So you've been around for 23 years. If I did my math right, and all 23 of those years, you've seen Paul and mm -hmm. all the things he does in town and the concerts and all. Tell me about uh, this man's uh, Paul, involvement. Paul and I go back decades, and that's, um, that's right. we were actually just talking this morning about the community playground being 20 years old. And all the way back then, you were a prime supporter of that project. And almost every other project that I was involved in or John was involved in from the very, very beginning, uh, you know, it's so good for you to be here because you have the most generous heart of just about anybody that I know. Lately, aside from the food bank, you've been um, helping our veterans get trained and find work. You've been helping with our opioid um, pro pro problems and helping to us to find solutions and to have the money to pay for that. And whenever the mayor calls you and says, look, we need help. 
you're, you're always there. And so we very much appreciate it. We appreciate everything that Peter does and all of the people who are totally behind the scenes making the food bank work, mm -hmm. our soup kitchens. So thank, please pass it on. Thank you. They do a wonderful thank thing. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that because um, <clears throat> the whole, the, the veterans uh, training program for, for jobs when they come back, that's gone statewide, if not national, with the attention it's gotten. Yes, it has. It's, it's a phenomenal effort. But we're here today to talk about the food bank, so let's talk about that, and I'll show this check for $6,250, which is the, the largest. The largest, okay. <laughs> I, I couldn't, I'm starting to think that yes. I couldn't think of anybody no. who gave us more, <laughs> so I'm glad you said the largest. Uh, this is your uh, donation to the food drive, which one? You know, this will go a long, long Absolutely. way toward uh, yep. what needs to be done. So, mm -hmm. Paul, I'll turn it back over to you. I uh, just want to say, as Carol said, thank you for uh, everything you do in town. Uh, we didn't mention the summer concerts. Many, oh, many years ago, uh, Paul had the idea of people bringing boxes and cans of food yes. to the summer concerts, mm -hmm. and he had the incentive <clears throat> idea for an incentive that every box or can you brought, you get a ticket, and he donated a, a TV, usually a nice mm -hmm. big screen TV, or GPSs, or all these gizmos that the kids it. use these days. I don't know what the heck they do, um, but everybody wants one, <laughs> is all I know. So Paul's done that, and would it be good? 40, 50, May 60 I, yeah. pounds, of, we pounds, get about pounds 60, of food? 60,000 pounds of food <clears throat> during the summer concert series, so thank you. It's, it keeps our smaller pantries operating during the summer, the concert series. So and this year I plan on coming. <laughs> okay. We better, you better. <laughs> and I'll be there. Be there. Well, you're too damn busy right. floating around France and Italy and things like that, you know. I mean, to come to one of our concerts, I want to bring you up on stage and I want to thank you publicly in front of our, our well, thousands of fans, especially on Monday night. Well, Monday night would be the best one for you yeah. to come because it's yeah. the, uh, uh, the 50s and 60s, the doo-wop yeah. groups. That'd be your best stop. But anyway, take it away, Paul. Well, anyway. I have to say that I've been uh, in business in Woodbridge for 58 years of celebrating. And uh, I've never had a better relationship with the town as I have now with the mayor and council and the people that work in the town. Anything that I could do to make it a little easier for the people that live and reside here, uh, I, I will do. Uh, I love, uh, uh, we employ over 400 people in Woodbridge and we try to keep them happy and uh, I can only say that uh, the food bank, uh, we always try to help the people that are in need. <coughs> and now with this new uh, 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 comment uh, that mm -hmm. you made about bringing in the people that are on uh, the military who I'm very involved with, and I won't talk about that too much. But uh, it's my pleasure to be uh, part of the Woodbridge Township. I love the town, I love the people, and uh, I can only say 58 years, uh, starting from a little used car lot to what we have now, uh, is, uh, has been a long run. I'm happy, and uh, anything I can do for the township, I will do. It seems Thank like you. we just had the 50th. Yeah. We had a party, right? We had a little celebration. It seems like a couple of years ago, but that was eight years ago? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So in two yeah. years, 2011, well, 2021. Right. It's eight. It's 58 as of August 1. Oh, this coming. Okay. This so coming still, that's, August, yeah. it still seems like it was more recently than that. Yeah. But I'll look forward in two and a half years to celebrating 60. The 60. Yeah. I'll that's be here. The, Carol that. will be here. Peter will be here. Okay. Megan will be here. The <laughs> camera guy is going to be here. Megan will be running the place. Megan <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Oh, so anyway, let's see let's if we can move this and we'll get a couple of good pictures. Alright, so before we leave, I'm going to give you a chance for a quick commercial. In Sandstone's Route 1 Auto Mall, when you're buying your next car, folks, go there and take a look. Uh, uh, Toyota, Nissan, Kia, Hyundai, uh, Mazda, Jeep, Ram, Dodge. Eight different places. Right. Wow. All right. That sounds good. No matter what you're looking for, you'll find it at Sansone's Route 1 Auto Mall. Pardon me for that shameless commercial, but a guy who's done everything that he's done for the Woodbridge Township in the last uh, 12 years I've been mayor, I'm happy to help you any way I can. Thanks for watching, folks. Thank you.